Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 51. This question has been asked, asked in Facebook or the Meta company. First, we are going to see the problem statement. Write a SQL query to calculate each user's average session time. So to calculate each user's average session time, we have been given a table called Facebook underscore web underscore log. So this table basically contains the actions performed by the user. So the, we have different kinds of actions performed by the user like page load, scroll down, scroll up, scroll down, page exit. Right. So these are the actions performed by the user. Now let's see what is the session. A session is defined as the time difference between a page load and a page exit. So if you see uh, there has been a page load and in the end there is a page exit. So the time difference between a page load and the page exit is known as the session time. Assume a user has only one session per day and if there are multiple of the same events on that day consider only the latest page load and earliest page exit. Output the user ID and their average session time. If you see the user ID 0 we have actions page load has happened two times so as per this statement we have to consider the latest page load so the which one is the latest page load for this user id 0 second row is the latest page load so we'll consider the row number 2 instead of row number 1 and since exit is the only one exit so we will have this exit so this is how we have to consider the page load and page exit for each user ID and, uh, and we have to find the uh, average session. So you can see the output table. Uh, there is a user ID. We have 0 and 1 in the output and average session time correspondingly. If you see the row number uh, 15 to 18, here we have page load but we do not have the page exit see after scroll up it is we are not having page exit actions so we are not going to consider this kind of rows while uh, doing a uh, while calculating session so that's all we have in this problem statement let's see how we can do this in sql server before proceeding to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So I'm going to fire select a star from table name that is Facebook underscore web underscore log. So I have just executed it and this is the result set we have got. So we have user ID column, timestamp and actions. Now what we have to do, uh, first I'm going to get the maximum timestamp for, for user whose action is equal to page load right for each day and similarly i will get the maximum uh, minimum time and stamp where action is equal to page exit for each user on each day right so for that i am going to do i am going to write select a star from table name and then i am going to replace a star with field name so i need user id so i need user id I will take that and then I want only date so but we have been given timestamp column so how to get a date from this timestamp we can get that by using cast function so cast of timestamp time underscore stamp and as date and we'll give alias as date dates and now i want max of max of timestamp and we'll give alias as let's say max underscore page load now i, I want to filter based on the action where actions actions equal to page load so i because i want the uh, the uh, maximum uh, time stamp for action is page load 
and since I've used aggregate function, I'll have to use group by group group by user ID and this state. So if I run this piece of code, let's see what we are getting. So you can see now for each user uh, on, on particular date, we have uh, we have got the max base load, right? Now we have to get the minimum uh, timestamp for uh, base exit, right? So what I'm going to do, I'll place this SQL statement in a in a CTE. So I'll give with CTE underscore. Uh, let's say as a base load, base load as, and I'm going to close this, and then I'm going to start another CTE. Let's say CT underscore uh, base exit as, and then I open the bracket and close it. In this, I'm going to copy this part. And I'm going to place this and here I'm going to use minimum of timestamp as min of base exit, right? And uh, where action is base exit. Let me get the exact statement uh, sorry that word base exit so where action is base exit so let me run this piece of code now we got the minimum pay, uh, minimum timestamp where action is base exit for each date for uh, each user id right now what i'm going to do i'm going to make a join on this cte and this cte on date field and user id Right, so now I'm going to start select star from, I'll take this ct underscore page load and we'll give alias as p and then I'm going to use inner join with ct underscore page exit and we'll give alias as E and then I'm going to join on p dot we want to join on p dot user id is equal to e dot user id and and p dot dates is equal to e dot dates Now I'm going to replace this star with column names. So I want user ID. So user ID. So since user ID is present in both the table uh, CT, so I will use alias p p dot user ID, and then I want p dot dates, and then what else I want? I want the max page load timestamp. So I will give this. And then I want minimum page exit timestamp. Then I will give this and let me run this piece of code. So you can see for we have got the max page load and minimum page exit time for that date and for that user ID. Now what we have to do, we have to get the session. So how we can get this? How can we can get the session? We can get the session by making uh, the difference between max page load and the ma uh, minimum page exit time. So we can do that by using uh, date dip function. So I'm going to use date dip and I want difference in second. So I will give second comma and I'm going to close this bracket and this will be as let's say session. And let me run this. So now you can see we have got this session for user ID 0 we have 
one session at 82 seconds another session at 36385 36, similarly for URID 1 we have 35 second session and the other one also 35 seconds so what we have to do now we have to get the average so how we get the average this plus this divided by 2 and for this also this plus this divided by 2 so we have to make a generic so we can use an average uh, function over here so we can use average so but before making this average let's convert this into into decimal so i will do 1.0 so if i run this you can see it is now decimal now i'll do average and then i'm going to close this bracket since i've used aggregate function I'll have to use group by also and since we don't want p dot dates we can remove that and we can put this p dot user id in the group by so if I run now now you can see we have average session as 1183.5 and 35.0 for one user ID one so but we, if you want to display it better what we can do we want decimal up to one place right so we can do this by using cast function let's cast this as decimal and we'll give uh, well let's say five comma one skip I will close this and now if I run here you go you got the desired result so that's all for this video if you have liked my video please give a thumbs up and do write in the comment section thank you and thanks for watching